joined in the booth with Clark Kellogg and Steve Kirk. This is Kevin Harlan. Looking at the last game for the Houston Rockets, it was a win against the Pistons in Detroit. Difficult to do. There's only about 10 of them in the entire league. But what they've done is they've, they've put a, a lot of good players on the floor. They've built their asset base. Kevin, back to you. And thanks for that story, Doris. Well, that certainly sent a ripple through the crowd. Yeah, well, alley -oop always does that. One of them. Really, if you don't have a top 10 player in the league, you just continue to gather talent, and that's what the Rockets have really done. Yeah, and you call that stockpiling assets. If you aren't big pieces or even trade for additional pieces now. Pushes up. Goes up and lays it. Cavaliers ranked in the NBA last season. 14th in rebounding. 15th in three-point shooting. And as far as steals go, uh, bottom third of the league. That's unacceptable. But they'll get another chance. A sheet kicks to Harden. Stuffs it through. The defense just couldn't recover. LeBron ultimately <laughs> was a sign and trade. But since LeBron left, they've been in rebuilding mode here in Cleveland. Oh, no. oh man, that was unreal. Mark it up. Wizards. And there's no question what the overriding factor was in that game, Clark. It was the big edge they had on the glass. Well, the level of energy they had in the win, Steve, was what impressed me. Four with the Sheik at the five. Harden out there with Daquan Cook. And it's Delfino in at the small forward position. Harden. Foul call that time on the way up. That'll give him two chances at the free throw line here. James Harden has become one of the best players off the bench in the NBA. And anytime you get a guy who can score, tighten up on him. A sheet kicks to Harden. To the middle. Goes right up. There's the killer two-handed slam. This is my hometown. I always want to see that team do well. And a fresh start. Good young rookies. Cap space. They're on their way. Clark, I know you liked watching some of those long-range shots go in for him when he was a Buckeye. Yeah, you know what? If he heads out along the baseline for that corner three, you might have... <laughs> Defeat the Waiters. And blocked. Ball's knocked loose. From deep, Harden. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. That's not... And it's G in at the three. That's Byron Scott's five as we get into the second half. Now, here is... Oh! Oh, are you kidding me? Oh, that was a yeah, I, I need a replay. I, I, I'm not sure what I just looked at. Well, what you love about Kyrie Irving is the, the great size for the point guard. And they were top 10 in three-point shooting. That's a huge part of their offensive attack. I was just really impressed with the free-throw shooting that you mentioned. Top five in the league in free-throw percentage. It says a lot about their concentration and their focus as a team. And uh, this is a key part of the game for this team. They've got to get to the line and knock them down to have a chance to win. Harden's shot is good. Going back to the Rockets, only two games back of Utah for that eighth and final conference playoff position. Steve looked like they just kind of ran out of gas near the end of the year. Well, they were right there uh, down the stretch, Kevin, but Utah was a little bit stronger. I think injuries may have played a little bit of a factor as well. For Going right to the heart of that defense like they have been until they do something about it. They don't offer resistance. Take everything you can get in there. That's good. He's got nine. What you love about James Harden is his passing ability. He